Hi, I'm Randy, and this is like uh, startup number 13 for me. So I, I'm going to call Guinness and tell them about it, but seven were my own. And um, the most notable one was Match.com. I was VP of engineering on the founding team. So and that, that applies because Flyreel is kind of like the next generation of matching technology. So I'll show you what this means. <coughs> what we've done is um, we created a two-sided marketplace with Flyreel, but it's an on-demand marketplace. So what you do with this is you simply speak into it. And we're, instead of matching people for relationships like you do with Match, we're matching a person's problem to someone local who can probably solve the problem for you. So you, as you can imagine, that could be something like uh, where we have focus today is in home services. You can simply speak to this and say something like, uh, I've got a broken water pipe, um, you know, I need to get new shades for my house or something like that, my roof is leaking. You can speak anything into this. And we have an artificial intelligence engine that interprets what you're saying and knows who to match you with. And then sends an alert out to all the people who can help you in that category, the pros who sign up on the supply side of the marketplace. And what's interesting is it creates demand. And people, uh, the pros, jump in really quickly to help you. So the average time that we notice is about 10 seconds, somebody will jump in and answer your call, which is amazing, right? So you could be a DIYer, you just need some advice. Um, you could just, uh, you know, <coughs> somebody who really needs a pro to come out and help you. So whatever your problems, you speak into it. Um, imagine you're um, looking for something on the retail side. Maybe you're, you're saying, like, uh, I'm looking for a new water faucet. And what's really interesting is that um, you know we can interpret that as a retail good, right, an item. So we'll send word out to retailers, and we deployed this in the Denver area today, and and here in Silicon Valley. Um, I actually live in Pleasanton, so um, but our team is in Denver, so kind of bifurcated. But um, we deployed it, and um, the Ace Hardware stores approached us and said, oh, "Can we use that in our stores?" And said, "Well, sure, you can use it there. We can train our guys for anything, right?" So um, we did, and people just simply speak into it when you're good. Ace looks at it, and they get a text alert. And they go, hmm, yeah, we can help that person. We go the answer, and they go to a video, right? Because it's like FaceTime video lights so. up. And now then, they're having a personalized experience with somebody who's a local in the community. They don't have to drive out to the store and, and you know, drive around. How many times have you done that? That's one of the most frustrating things when you have to drive, 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 try to find something. This way, you can work all the retailers, and then the first one that answers it has a solution for you, picks it up, because they want your business. Right? And then they can say, yeah, we've got that stock right here, we'll have it for a counter, come pick up. It's a lot better than driving to like five or 10 places. So, I'm sure I'm the only one that does that right, so. Anyway, okay, so let's see if this will actually work. I guarantee that this uh, microphone is gonna work. Um, now, I'm not gonna press the little white microphone button because that's my live network. And, uh, and a local pro will jump on. So I have a blue bar down here. My water pipe is broken and I need some help. Okay, and I'll just say, look for an expert. And on the other end of this is my co-founder, Cole. Hopefully. So let's see. And he's slower than Pro, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there he is. Okay. Now to warm the conversation up, we'll take you into text messaging. Because what if you're not you know, appropriate for a video call? Right? And then what I can do here is I can say, hey, I'm just gonna move this right to a video call. Oops. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm requesting a call. He has to accept it, and then hopefully we'll pop on here. There he is. He's on my phone anyway. Hold on. <laughs> I call one second. We're still waiting for it to respond up on the screen. Oh, you can see him here. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen on quick time, but this is my co-founder, Cole. Say hi. Hey. Hi. All right. Here you go. Thanks, Cole. Okay. So I'll shut him off, send him back to the machine. And um, so anyway, this may be hung because quick time is never friendly like this. So anyway, uh, so that's how it works. That's, that's all there is to it. You get to connect to somebody who can help you very quickly 
Okay. And you're at the center room, and, and you know, the way you hope that somebody's going to call you back. If you're a homeowner, I'm sure you've done that before, too. It takes forever if anyone ever does call you back, right? So, anyway, um, that's it. We're, gonna, we're right now focused on home services, the $462 billion market, which is about 3 percent cap. So we figure there's enough room there. Our competitors are folks like Home Advisor, Thumbtack, people like that. But you know what's interesting? Those guys have all taken an interrogation method. So what they do is they ask you a whole bunch of questions, right? So you have to go through question after question after question. And it's a traditional, you know, like data science problem that they're, they're dealing with. We took all those questions and we wrapped it to an artificial intelligence engine. And we said, we can train for anything. We can train within a day. We just like any category. So today we have a few million, you know, uh, phrases and keywords built into it. And, and you know, people are using it and it's working. So. Awesome. Let's give a round of applause for Bob. Yeah, so do you have commerce integration into this? And if so, how does it, how do you, how do, you do a transaction? We, we don't get the transactions are definitely part of this. You know, we're still in its infancy, as you can imagine. Today we're connecting, right? And then we're going to make a whole bunch of connections on the back end to all kinds of systems, as you can imagine. So, yeah, we're just not current area. So is that, how do you monetize this then? Because well, presumably we, that's... Yeah, a few ways. You know, it's interesting. Um, on the transaction side, of course, you know, there's there are great monetization opportunities. Uh, one way we can do this is we can charge for leads. If a you know, pro needs a lead, we can charge them for it. We'd probably rather not do that because that's what everyone else does. And the pros aren't really happy with that because a lot of leads can be jumped. We can actually detect the junk lead, as you can imagine. If you connect with somebody, we can even tell what happens inside the conversation and we can toss it away as a junk lead. And the pros do like that a lot because if we were to charge, we charge for a real lead versus what the others do. If, you know, they complain all the time about folks like Home Advisor because they pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you know, every week. On, for things that you know, for people and leads that aren't even real, right? So we're solving that problem. But I think what we're probably going to do is um, we're really going to integrate like in some kind of a you know a transactional model that's more based on like you know, we've got tools and things we're going to build in for the pros to be scheduling stuff all through voice activation, right? So they could, they could just say um, you know um, schedule you know, put it in my calendar blah 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 for Thursday you know appointment and things like that. They can say uh, we can even jump through the conversation. We can tell, um, you know, that, that they're proposing something as a project to someone. And we can actually turn that into a physical bill just from the conversation that goes on. And then we can ask the pro, you know, we detect you know, the, you know, an opportunity for a bill we'd like to send to the person we spoke to. And we can do things like that. So there are a lot of monetization opportunities as you can imagine. You're talking about a lot of different markets. You gave the idea of the pro for the uh, home uh, service today, but you mentioned other ones. So, yeah. are, you, are you a technology company, or are you going to focus on one particular market at some point and get into it? Well, oh, I think you kind of both, right? <laughs> you know, because you know, we can license technology out, but right now we're focused on services. For instance, we're going to be doing things like um, our next thing um, going horizontal. We're going into, you know, of course, we're going to develop web design, software development, things like that. Which is kind of natural, of course, because we know a lot of folks in the industry. So it's easy for us to go sideways into that. Um, we're probably going to go into construction and training as well, because that's a huge market. And uh, as you can imagine, this can help quite a bit. But if you think it's a huge market to from the outside, I think the key here is to pick one that you think has yeah. quite a bit of you know, oh, value oh, that, that your technology is not really matched for. Yeah. And maybe some services, maybe it's another one. Yeah. Or if you're a technology company, then you have to kind of target those verticals that already exist and offer them this advancement in their own solution. Yeah, well, see, we're focused on home services for the time being, for the foreseeable future. <laughs> but we're looking at more general, you know, places to go. Because as you can imagine, if, what if the home advisor wakes up and says, "Wow, we should really kind of switch over to this model. Our options are either sell it to them, or you know, we start." Go horizontal and you know deploy our master plan, right? Because we know they can't go into they can't go into they are home devices, right? Plus, it's very hard for you know the way they build the system, build on like traditional data structures and things like that, to now move all of a sudden to artificial intelligence because they have a uh, whole back end is based, you know, their analytical systems are based on that structure, right? So they took a very structured approach. So it's hard for them to make a move like you know this. So. All right, that's all the time we have. Thank you, Flyer. Oh, thank you.